All right, so workbench font aliasing. Controls font, font aliasing method in the workbench. And you have a few options here. Let's go through them. You have anti-aliased, anti so smooth the font on the level of the pixel as opposed to the subpixel. Can make the font appear lighter overall. You have auto, applies default or anti-aliased automatically bas based on the DPI of displays. So my display is, uh, is a retina display which means it has uh, a really high DPI because this is a MacBook Pro. Um, and the auto, I guess it doesn't say what the uh, decision criteria is, but I'm guessing that in uh, Mac uh, in MacBooks, it will use the default. Otherwise, it will use the anti-aliased. Then you have the default, which is subpixel font smoothing. On most non-retina displays, this will give the sharpest text and none, which I don't recommend at all because the text just looks really bad. And I'm not sure if you can detect that, but let's uh, zoom in a little bit. Let me pull this to the side. Actually, let me close this out. Let me continue zooming in so you can see what's going on. Can you notice, I'm not sure if you can notice that the N is not even straight, it has a little a few pixels there. Um, like all the letters, especially the round letters like the O, the A, the E, um, they look uh, like jagged. That's weird, it's a weird thing to do. So let's set the zoom back to, whoops, set it to zero. All right, let's get back to where we were. Now, there's a difference between um, anti-aliasing at the pixel level or at the sub-pixel level. So um, actually, so you know, a pixel is composed of three colors by definition, right? It's red, green, and blue, RGB. And um, anti-aliasing at the pixel level controls the brightness of the whole pixel. So uh, all the three colors will be brighter or less bright, right? So it controls the brightness of all the three colors. And uh, anti-aliasing at the sub-pixel level controls the brightness of each color independently. So, um, Anti-aliasing actually does at the subpixel level actually does a better job um, creating smooth text than um, anti-aliasing at the uh, pixel level. So for that reason, and that doesn't really depend on the DPI that you have on your screen. I mean, the only uh, thing, the like the the only um, I don't even know what to call it, I guess, effect that the DPI has is the text is, the, the, the text is either smoother or less smooth in the first place. But applying uh, anti-alias at the subpixel level is always better, no matter what the DPI, right? So um, let's apply anti-alias anti-aliasing to the subpixel level. So smooth the font on the level of pixel. This is not what we want. Auto applies default or anti-alias automatically based on the DPI. No, this is not what we want. Or default, which is subpixel font smoothing. Uh, on most non-retina displays, this will give the sharpest text. And also on retina displays, I'm not sure why they say on most non-retina displays, it just gives the sharpest text on all displays. If I'm mistaken, uh, please let me know in the comments down, down below. But as far as I know, uh, subpixel anti-aliasing is always better. So uh, let's set this to default, which by the way, is not the default option. The default option is auto. So let's set, let's set this to default. <clears throat> 